case is about the um, stuff being brought up before the city council about a hostile work environment. And I'm going to have to assume that that means that somebody is being told to do a certain thing a certain way and they're completely resistant to that. Am I correct in that assumption? Absolutely. My concern is that there is a group, small as it may be, uh, Citizens Advisory Committee, uh, that as a group we might need to express our concern that um, this type of activity or this type of thing undermines uh, the ability of someone to run a department. Now, I'm not saying that somebody can't have um, a redress of grievances or can't have a problem with a superior that they can't talk about, but in the process of running a company, uh, you can't have the CEO or you can't have the, the person who's in charge of the company having his hands tied, his or her hands tied behind their back constantly and then be expected to perform and it worries me that we're expecting you guys to perform and do a particular task while politically having your hands tied behind your back am I going somewhere I'm not supposed to go oh no your your, your comments are are accurate I mean, to a certain degree. Let, let me just let me just put it to you this way, Mike. Um, how do I say this and be? I'm not, I'm, I'm not for being really direct. So that's um, and I don't mind that at all. All I'll say is this: is that for every time someone makes an allegation against this administration or against the police department, we have clearly demonstrated in the past, and will continue to demonstrate that this is all either made up or it's part of a group that's there with the specific purpose to disrupt. And I assure each and every one of you, I'm not going anywhere. Now my tenure may end if there's a new council and they just don't like the fact of the way that we're proceeding in the progress that we're making. That I can't help. But I'm not going anywhere and no matter what is thrown in front of me, they're not going to get me to stop. That's it in a nutshell. I have, with the assistance of Terry, Stan Terry Sanders, Joe Pettis, Larry Sledge, and the rest of my staff, sworn to uphold the, the, the constitutions of the state in this country, to protect the ordinances, to be to protect the laws and to protect all the people involved. And I will not succumb to anything else. I'm a Miami boy. So I've been in 10 times, 100 times worse garbage, if you will. Not politically, but I've been shot at, I've been stabbed at, I've been, there's a number of things. So I'm not running from anything, rest assured that. And each and every time there's an allegation, the people will end up seeing that these allegations are nothing but made up issues to kind of degress this administration. And we will continue to proceed. Our, our posture is to try and ensure that we have accreditation and make this police department accredited. And every time I have a personnel issue and it's stymied at one way or the other, I'm going to try and divert it to another area so that we can still have the best police officers, the most trusted police officers in positions. Well, is it necessary or is it even advisable for one of us or a couple of us to express our concern that... Not at this time, and I'll tell you why. If everyone recalls we had the Ethics Committee, and we allowed the Ethics Committee to look at everything that, that was presented. Of course, they were only presented with certain information when we had an opportunity. We showed them the entire case. 
once they saw that, again, there was no sabotage to the case, and they clearly came back with um, a complete, you know, 100% no foul, nothing wrong. So here's another stab at this administration as far as making these allegations. And now they're bringing Lorenzo Howard into the mix. And I'm sure Lorenzo Howard will do a fine job in investigating this. And once again, we feel extremely confident that it's going to show nothing. And at that time, that's when I'll be presenting a lot of information, not only to you all, but in, again, to the entire city. What I hate about this entire process is it puts the city of Fairhope Police Department and the city into a negative light. Yeah. I don't get it because I'll be quite honest with you. It's, it's degrading to our personnel, number one. It's degrading to the city. And more importantly, I think it detracts from the city. Well, I believe y'all have done, I mean, I have seen in the last couple of years, how long have you been here? Two or three Just years? over two years. Yeah, I've seen a dramatic difference, you know, not just because of this, this transparency here, but just overall, uh, just the way things are done, just the method that everything's done, and, and I really appreciate that. And so, trying to retain the good old boy network is offensive to me, and I grew up in Alabama, so I can say that, okay? Well, I can't say that, number I know. one, because I didn't grow up in Alabama, but I am an Alabamian now, and I am a fair hopian now. And I've left my family and my friends in Miami to come here to do the very best that I possibly can. And I'm dedicated not only to the people who work with me, I'm talking about all the police personnel, clerical, fire, um, corrections personnel, animal control, but to every citizen, not only here in the city, but as well as in the police jurisdiction. So, uh, again, I appreciate what you're trying to say, and when it comes out, then I think everyone is going to have a clear picture as to the impropriety that's gone on behind the scenes. And then let them be the judge. Unfortunately, I... I don't like being in a position, never like being in a position where I have to defend myself or this police department for erroneous issues whatsoever. Because again, it puts the police department in a negative light, puts, puts the city in a negative light, and I don't like to be party to that. But I will have no choice because I'm not going to just let these allegations and, and those kinds of things occur without coming back and fighting. I'm, I, you know. I'm a lover, not a fighter, that, that kind of thing. Not when it comes to this. This is all about ethical issues. It's all about legal exactly. or not legal. And I'll tell you, it's all about good and evil. And I'm the good guy as far as I'm concerned. Yes, ma'am. I'm not sure I even how to express this, but in the paper this morning, the mayor quote said that he preferred discipline before. I don't understand what you get. I mean, if you're on a job, how do you get disciplined? Well, the way the process worked once the council brought me in and the way the, the discipline process worked is there was a clear avenue for not only us to discipline those people who needed to be disciplined, whether it was a verbal warning or re recommendation for termination on very acute and major issues, such as in the case I have two employees who are fitting that bill right now. But when this whole ideology or the, the law changed with the uh, Supreme Court of Alabama that the, that the uh, council no longer had the certain powers that they had and it was now diverted to the mayor, that changed because the mayor put a new step into place where he could thwart or agree with any discipline that we have. Um, and that's where the issue lies. We have two employees that I would terminate tomorrow or recommend, recommend our termination, and they would have the opportunity to normally go before a Judge Snedeker to hear our case and to present their case. And even if Judge Snedeker agreed with our case, they still have an appellate process. 
Well, that's, that's been stymied. That's been cut short. So uh, that, that's the problem. And, when, and I'm not going to go into it any further than that, other than saying that goes back to the way things used to be. I'll tell you this. As a result, both of those officers are no longer out on the street. If I can't trust them to do the right thing by you all, then I, there's no way possible I can put them on the street. So they've been removed from the street, which means we're now paying for two additional officers who I can't even use as police officers. And that's just the way it is. Question. Yes, sir. Is there an issue with an officer sleeping on duty? That's one of the issues in addition to some other issues with that employee. And what about fixing traffic tickets? Is that an issue? Not with me, it isn't. Doesn't happen. So that's where we stand on all this. Um, and we'll see how this thing plays out. Well, at the end to, of the day, it I may didn't come... I mean to open a can of worms. Well, I no, just really want to, at, want to support at, you guys. And I appreciate it, Mike. But at the end of the day, it may come down to votes and who you decide to put into office. Very, very important. So that, that's just the way that goes. I hope I answered that. You did. I just didn't understand the, the discipline more. Well, I think what the mayor was saying was instead of going directly to a termination, a recommendation for termination, there should be a, um, help me out here, Jerry, a progression. And that's absolutely correct when you have minor issues. But with major issues, it doesn't work that way. Now, in the case with one employee that we have, he was sleeping four times, so it's not like it's a first-time offense. And that's four times this year, in addition to lying in a official hearing. So now, and then what you may or may not know is we have Giglio, which is now a Supreme Court case, which basically says that any time an officer is found to have lied, that becomes part of his personnel jacket. And therefore, his statements in any testimony can be impeached. So there's, a, there's a, a huge problem with that. And I have two employees who our internal affairs investigations have found have clearly lied. So in addition to the sleeping issue. So that's just the way it goes. And then when you have someone like that and you want, then you say it's a hostile work environment. And see, then, then that raises a flag. It must be me. Well, it is me. It's clearly me. Because I'm the one who brought these procedures and policies in place that says you can't lie. And that's just the way it is. Thanks, Chief. <clears throat>